Hi, this is James, and welcome back to Storytime with James. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like, okay? I'm here with my buddy, Rifleman, and Krumah Nantambu, okay? <laughs> Krumah Nantambu. And, and he, he, this is a very distinguished gentleman, you know? He's real good, you know? Look, how did you get the name Rifleman? I've been calling you Rifleman for like, 20 years now, you know. How did you get that name, man? Well, that's a, that's a, it goes back to actually when I was a teenager right. in school. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, kids would pick up uh, television heroes' names mm -hmm. and give it to someone. Right. And uh, one time I got into a confrontation with a bunch of guys, and one of my best friends saw me in the confrontation. And he said, man, you was jumping from one guy to another. He said, you look like Rifle Man <laughs> out there jumping on all them guys by yourself, you know. Yeah. So since that time, man, he started calling me, hey, that come Rifle Man, look out. <laughs> it didn't have nothing to do with me putting that name on myself. Right. You know, other people, kids that you know in the neighborhood yeah. give you nicknames. Right. So that's just a nickname that was given to me by a friend of mine when he saw me in an altercation with some other guys <laughs> trying to jump on me. And they said, well, you, man, you was fighting like Ralph, man. <laughs> so, man, oh, come like on out there. Man, Ralph, man. Yeah, Ralph, man had a Ralph. I didn't yeah. have no Ralph. I had to do it with my yeah. fist. So, oh, okay. So they Chuck, that. Chuck O'Connor. Yeah, right? Chuck O'Connor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, so they're kind of stuck with that childhood thing. So, ain't too many people that, you know, today, that's still alive, uh -huh. even call me Ralph, man, anymore. I do. <laughs> I'm still alive. <laughs> okay, okay, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes. But, yes. uh. You have ins insurance. You do insurance, right? Insurance, yes. And, and what what is your your business? It's pretty much as life insurance. I, I can mm -hmm. sell life, health, and fire, mm -hmm. but I specialize mostly just in life insurance. Some people refer to it as family expense insurance. That's burial. Some folks call it burial insurance. You know, it just depends on what kind of name they want to put one, but it's basically... If a person needs a policy put on them, they can call me and I will write an, uh, take an application on them and submit it to the insurance company and try to cover them. We write uh, large policies and small policies. We started, you know, funerals arrangements these days running somewhere between eight to $10,000 or more, right. depending on what the person wants, you know, the funeral home to do. So people can get a smaller policy, like a $5,000 policy, which they, you know, maybe on their children or something. And, if they need a larger policy than that, you know, we can write them a hundred thousand dollar policy. It depends on what they really want to cover their, you know, their life. Right. How you know? how can how can they get in touch with you? Well, just a phone call. I'm a phone call away. Most of my calls are referrals. I got a lot of policy holders that's already on the books. They they refer people to me. Mm -hmm. So I don't do a lot of advertising anymore because I've been in the business now for about uh, forty years, <laughs> and I got a big pretty sad you know, clientele. Right. So most of my clients today comes from my clients, you know, brothers, brothers and sisters, you know, uh, just got through talking to a, a sister and I mean, uh, of my wife yeah. and uh, she, she's already referring me to people that she know. Oh. And uh, that's how it really work. Uh, they, uh, they refer their clients, their family members to me or their church members to me. I write preachers and pastors, go to churches sometime and write up people at the church. Wow. So this, you you can uh -oh. be very busy, you know. Matter of fact, you start calling me right now. So, uh, 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 hold on a second. Here. Yes, ma'am, Lil Rain. Uh, I'm going to be looking for it. I'm I'm in an interview right now, but I will take a look at it as soon as I get off the phone. Okay. Okay, I certainly will. Okay, bye now. See, that's a right there. <laughs> that's a referral right there. She just sent me yeah. somebody's phone number, yeah. wanted me to call them about some life insurance. So, so your insurance, do, do you have a uh, like a, a email that you can give them? Yes, I got an email. That's my last name and first name at gmail.com. That's right. Nantambu in Chroma at gmail.com. How do you spell that? <laughs> <laughs> Nantambu. Well, it's, it's, it's got it's got four A's and two U's in it in the last name. That's Nantambu, right. and it's N A A N T A A N B as in boy U U N K R U M A H. That's in Chroma right. at gmail.com. Wow. 
That's last name, I, first name. I was name, the G-Bell only one. Account. I was the only one was able to spell your name correctly. Yeah. At, at work. Okay. <laughs> but me, me and this guy used to work together at the hotel. You know, mm-hmm. we worked together at the hotel, and yeah. it, it was crazy down there. <laughs> it was crazy down there. What, yeah. what, what did you? Where did you get that name? Uh, is, well, is well, believe it or not, I, I would, yeah, uh, celebrating Kwanzaa oh. every year, mm-hmm. and they have what they call a name, uh, a name uh, a change program right. part of part of Kwanzaa. Right. And they had the paperwork there for the people who want to change their name and have an African name. Right. So I was, I've been going to it for, I guess, the last twenty years or so. Right. And I guess about, uh, I'm gonna say, read about uh, eighteen years ago or something like that. I did change my name. To an African name, and I picked the name out of a name uh, African name book. Yeah, had all these different names in mm-hmm. there, and I picked the name that I lacked. Mm-hmm. And then I had to fill out some paper with the courthouse and go downtown, talk to the judge <laughs> in the courtroom, and tell him that I wanted to change my name. They look at the paperwork, mm-hmm. and then when they get through, the judge signs off on the paperwork and said, "Your name, your new name now is Improma Alamayu Nante Alamayu." Yeah. Oh, okay. I- Yes, and plus, you know, you look at an African name, African people give names of that has a good meaning to it. Right. What, is and, it, uh, what does uh, Nkrumah mean? Nkrumah means great leader. It's taken oh. from Nkrumah, uh, who was the president of uh, Ghana. Okay. Okay. They called him the great leader. So yeah. Nkrumah, in, in that African continent, mm-hmm. they refer to him, Nkrumah, as being the great leader. Right. So I got, you know, I like that part. When I saw that, I said, oh, I like that. <laughs> so I put down Nkrumah. Allah my you, you know, mm-hmm. if people say Allah, right. meaning God. God yeah. So then Allah part is Allah, which means holy man of God. So oh. my name is Allah my you, holy man of God. That's that's the that's the note for the Allah my you. Mm-hmm. Nantambu. Mm-hmm. I've had two different meanings to that after, after I picked the one that was in the book. But then I later on, I was talking to some other African people and they said, oh, that really don't necessarily mean that. They gave me a healthy, vigorous, and courageous or something. Right. But I had it healthy, vigorous, and strong. Right. So I always tell people, call bamboo is strong. Right. So I just said healthy, vigorous, and strong. And that's Nantambu. Right. That's my name. So you got you got the got the good part of it. I said, now that's a name you got it's hard to kind of live up to. Yeah. Trying to live up to a holy man of God. Yeah. <laughs> Living in a filthy world like, uh, and I'm here with a raffle man like you call me. <laughs> I'm out here fighting. You know? Yeah. Look, Ain't no holy man of God knocking people out. <laughs> <laughs> look, I remember when you first started working at the at the hotel. Yes. Know, and you and uh it's another guy. What was that? Mr. Taylor. Yeah, Mr. Taylor and all of them. Yeah, y'all were just standing there, and I said, "Look at them. They look like distinguished gentlemen. They look like distinguished gentlemen." <laughs> yeah, that's all y'all suited had your suit and, on and everything yeah. like that. I said, "These distinguished yeah. gentlemen." Yeah, and, and, and stuff like that. <laughs> but after after we, I worked at the hotel for thirteen years, mm-hmm. and you did five did years, five right? or six, somewhere along in that. Yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. after both of us quit, mm-hmm. after I left the hotel, I started working at the library, mm-hmm. and then. He started working yeah, at the yeah, library right, too. Right, you know, hard time. You know, I always yep. try to try to really. Uh, after so many years of doing insurance, and the only thing that, if it wasn't for the referral part of the right. business, I probably been gonna stop. Right. But when you get a book of clients like I have, mm-hmm. and people constantly uh, calling you about coming and write some insurance, can you write my sister? Can you right. write my brother? Right. Uh, I got a, a a relative over across town somewhere. They want you to go in and write some in. So it's hard to just walk away from the business. Right. So I, I, I don't go out and advertise a lot trying to get a whole lot of new business, right. but I appreciate getting new business. But most of my business now, like I said, is all referral or uh, people constantly. So while I'm trying to get away from the advertising and getting out there like the old, when I first got into the business, uh, uh, here we go again, <laughs> another <laughs> client. <laughs> so, okay, let me <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bailey. Yes, sir, Mr. Bailey. Yes, sir. I, I I called you earlier. I wanted to go ahead. I had to put in uh, your payments and everything today. We had to call the account if we call it an insurance business. So you had already told me about the 21st. So I wasn't going to say, but Mr. Bailey, I'm going to go ahead and put in what you asked me to put in for you. Okay. All right. Okay. Sounds good. I got you covered. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> All right, then. When I see you on the 20th, if I don't call you, you call me, okay? I'll see, I'll see you on the 21st then, okay? All right, Mr. Bailey. Take care of that. Okay. Bye now. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. See that? Man, that, mm -hmm. see, that's the insurance business. You never, man, your phone <laughs> comes. <laughs> that, there's a, that's, that there is no more than collecting the premium. Yeah. See, he's already got insurance for his whole family, yeah. and I have to go by and collect his premium as well. Yes. Got, a lot of insurance companies, uh, agents, uh, we, it's harder today because, man, it's a different time. And a lot of young agents don't like to get out there. And, they don't mind being in the insurance business, right. they but like they don't that. like that going out and collecting because, man, it can be kind of dangerous. You yeah. know, yeah. people out here now, man, uh, don't want to work and then they're hanging around watching you coming in and out of people's houses. You know, they think yeah. you ain't got but you went in there and collected five dollar premium. Yeah. You got to get shot for a five dollar premium. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Terrible. So that's people get kind of afraid about that type type of thing. But uh, we got plenty of agents out here that still. You know, writing and going by and picking up premiums and all that sort of thing. Well, that's about it, man. Look, right. I, I, I really appreciate you. Yes, I really appreciate right. you, man. I appreciate yeah. being on the world yeah. scene, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I feel like a movie star. Now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yes, man. Yeah, I, I really appreciate you. I'm talking about on another level. Okay. Because you, you helped me out a lot. You yes, know. sir. All right. And, and, you my my only friend. Oh know. man, that's like you, 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 my, you know my you got a lot more friends, Jack. You, you, I got a lot of friends. But I, yeah. you, you my best friend. All okay? right then, I appreciate right. you saying so. Yes, okay. sir, I appreciate that. All right, you guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave us a comment if you like, and hit that bell notification. Hit that bell notification so that you know every time I drop another video. And share, 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 share my videos with everyone. Share them with your, your loved ones. Share them with your family. Share them with your friends. Yes. And even share them with, with your enemies, okay? <laughs> okay. Peace. Adios. Salamat. Right. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, Mr. James.